every time we go fishing, you know we gotta tie one on. In all honesty, when do I not tie one on? <laughs> every time I go on the water, I love to tie one on. Every day of the week, I like to tie one on. You may not know this about me, but every once in a while, I've been known to tie one on. Come on, man, join the Stray King team. All you gotta do, tie one on. <laughs> I think I always tie one on. Hey gang, Mark Zona, MichianaOutdoorsNews.com. I got a little subtle right there, didn't I? Because I'm gonna talk to you about something that is near and dear to my heart, and that's tackle storage. If you look in here, if you look in the Death Star's storage compartment, that's right, I call my boat the Death Star. Here's the deal. I'm a nut bag about tackle storage, and one of the things that I'm really strange about is my soft plastics. We all have our favorites, right? One of you might say, I, you know, I, I love soft plastic stick baits. The next person, man, I like soft plastic craws. Get yourself a money bag. And here's the beautiful thing about this money bag right here. I can load it up with all of my soft plastics that I use throughout a summer. They're going to stay dry. All of my soft plastics are gonna stay dry. They're not gonna, uh, the, uh, the one thing I can't handle is dampness in a boat. I go insane. The other thing is you cannot tear this thing. It's not like a zip, look, I have used Ziploc bags for the right, hold on a second here. I have used Ziploc bags for like the last 30 years of my life. Um, the negative thing of a Ziploc bag is number one, you're gonna go through a gazillion of them. If you just get a money bag, you're not gonna go through five of them the rest of your life. Take care of your storage, Bass Mafia.